Hello guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to my another video. In today's video, I would like to talk, not talk, but show you just got the Linealson 60 and half rabbit palena. So I would like to show you something about the plane. What the plane can do and stuff what I know about this plane. It's very cool tool. So stay tuned and we will talk about it. So this planer is the rabbiting planer. It has open sides. So you can cut your tenons to fit, yeah, say you have tenons, so you can cut it nicely, you can go all the way to the cheek, yeah, to the side, or if you need to trim some pieces of furniture to the wall, you can ride it around the wall, uh, wall. you can trim it nicely. Uh, it's a low angle plane, yeah, it's a low angle plane, handmade, Lee Nielsen do only handmade tools, it's a Nikot cup, Nikot, uh, the mouth is fixed, so it's not adjustable, okay, yeah, it's fixed, and yeah. Everybody always told me, oh, get the lineals and get the lineals and I was like, why? What is so different? But yeah, now I understand why. Because this plane, I have lots of block planes, yeah? I have Stanley, Record. Yeah. Maybe at least Stanley, yeah. But this plane, is the only one what I'm using. It's on the same pr similar principle to the Stanley or you have a record one as well. But if you look on the Stanley it's... Ah, no. Back to the nails. So yeah I did buy this one and I'm very happy. My one comes from the company called Dictum. It's a German company. I put the link in the description so you can look on their tools and now I would like to show you how the plane cutting so let's start so in my vise I have a poplar oh, sorry I have a poplar in my vise now And we'll see what shaving we can get. Reduced it a bit. I like to use a little bit of wax for the bottom of the plane to lubricate it you see how it's going nicely nice shavings Go through this. So this is poplar. 
Let's try Bola. How is it gonna go on Bola? A little piece of Bola here. Again, a little bit of wax. Let's see. Total small shavings. See, nice shavings. I can do this all day, all day. We gotta try oak. One more oak. I'll try down the oak. Not a problem, not even a And you can do this all day, all day. This, one more thing, this plane is even good when you're cutting or shaping through the end grains. So this is cut through the end grains, so we're gonna try it. How is it gonna do on the end grains as well? Shavings even on the engrave uh, engrave. If you look on the end grain, see, not even problem there. So, how I said, so far, this is my favorite plane. What I ever own and other things what is important after every use or when you don't use it it's the best to take the plane apart remove the blade Just gently I don't want to nip the pla blade take little bit of the camera oil on some cloth just wipe whole plane down come oil chameleon oil chameleon oil all the body as well Everything nicely to protect the plane 
from rusting yeah and all that stuff and another thing sorry put the plane back together when you not gonna use the plane you just tie it up and lose it half of the way to because when you don't use it you leave the cup tight too much it's gonna bow your blade and that's not good and I forget when you buy this plane you can start using straight away from the box because everything is flat flattened to be straight to perfect 90 degrees even if you look on this everything is 90 degrees degrees so out of the box you can start using it uh, this is everything from me hope you like this video how I said I don't know much about the plane so I just gave you a little bit what I know and if you want to buy one I'm gonna leave the link in the description for dictum page they have awesome stuff great tools great prices so check it out and keep making stuff thank you for watching please like if you if you like it just like it if you want you can share it and thank you for watching